All right, today's video, if you guys are Porsche owners and you have the lightweight bucket seats, well, this video is gonna be for you guys. We're gonna be installing Crazy Eddie's, um, Ed's uh, side bolster covers for the LWB's lightweight buckets in the Porsche. So my Cayman GT4 has the carbon fiber lightweight bucket seats that you probably have seen in the 918 Spider. They're the GT3 RS. They're an option on pretty much, I think, most Porsches now at this point in time. But um, these side bolsters are basically probably the most wearable item on the car uh, in terms of just the natural getting in and out of the seats. You just naturally destroy the sides of these bolsters and these carbon bucket seats are fixed. So meaning you have to get up over the side of this hard bolster and kind of fall in and that action of getting up and over into the car, the outer edges of the bolsters really get worn out. On Red's list, they're hugely popular. They not only makes bolster covers, but he makes like the fire extinguisher covers, headrest covers, uh, really basically any cover to protect your bolster, your seat bolster. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you this. I'm gonna show you the install. The install is really like five minutes per side. And I'll show you what I mean, what happens when you're getting in and out of these cars, why the bolsters just inevitably wear down. So um, let me show you guys that. I'll show you what I'm talking about. We'll get installed. So these are the bolsters that we're gonna be covering up. So this section basically forward, this whole leather piece and on the inside in here, Ed's covers basically mimic this. So it's gonna almost look basically factory. He can get you any color stitching that you need. So obviously I have the yellow deviated stitching, but what I'm talking about here is this is, this is it just doesn't flex, right? So to get into these cars, you have to basically get up and over into here and it just inevitably wears here. Um, and across the stitching here. So we're gonna get these covers on. That's what Ed's designed them to be. So you protect that as you get in and out of the car. You can be as safe and careful as you want, but just over time, it's inevitable that it's gonna happen. So I'll show you what I'm talking about getting in and out of the car here. Essentially what you're doing to get in here is you have to basically put your foot in the car, right? And then I put my hand all the way down here and I kind of use this arm to hover myself as I'm getting in the car. You have to get in and get over like that. And realistically, you can do this countless, countless times, but you're always gonna still kinda get some wear on this bolster. It's basically at the top right here if it's showing up on camera, and especially as you go to sit in the seats, right on the inside of the seats. So um, that's kinda what you have to do. And then getting out, you know, it's a gymnastic routine. You kinda do the same thing. And as you get out, you can see probably right here, you still inevitably hit just because there's not enough room to get out. So that's what these bolster protectors are for. I'm gonna show them to you, get them installed, and um, they should look factory in OEM. Here's what you get. You have your, obviously your driver's side bolster, passenger side bolster, and then these pieces right here, these are the attachments that are gonna go over top of here. So you can get them without the stitching. Uh, I chose to get with the stitching to kind of continue the bolster cover here up into the seat. I think that'll be a nice look. So that's what you get. You get a couple zip ties, couple pieces of Velcro. Um, I'll explain that more in the install, but really it's super simple. Again, guys, this should really only take you a couple minutes to install per side. We're gonna get to it. I'm gonna kind of go pop the switches off and kind of walk you through what we're doing here. I'm gonna give you guys just a 30 second kind of how to on this because it's probably not gonna show up on camera very well because it's just, I'm a one man show. But essentially, you're going to pop off this right here. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either pop off the whole switch or you can pop the trim off. Uh, if you pop off the whole switch, it's gonna make it easier to fit the cover over and then snap it back on. But you can also take just this bezel off and basically fit it around there and put the bezel on last. But then all you're doing is basically, you're putting the cover in here, you're gonna pull up this seat. So this whole seat insert is basically a um, Velcro insert. So you're gonna basically pull that up around the edge and then you're gonna slide the bolster on here. There's two pieces, remember, you have this piece and then you have the cover that handles this piece. So then we're gonna pull this up and there's a line of Velcro that's down in here. And what we're gonna do is the new piece we're putting on also has Velcro on it for this piece to reattach to. So you're gonna go ahead and slide this cover over and you're gonna Velcro that, you're gonna get it in position, pull it tight, and you're gonna Velcro that down to the existing seat piece. And then at the end, when you're done, this piece will then re-Velcro back to the new bolster cover. And then once that's done, you're gonna feed, basically there's a long strap that's gonna come down through 
behind the seat bolt here. And then in the back of the seat, there's a bar that runs across. We're gonna affix some Velcro to that, pull that strap tight, which keeps this all nice and tight, run the Velcro around it, secure it in there, and then put this piece on and then pop that back on and you should be good to go. Pop this kind of loosens up and then just pops off just like so. All we're gonna do now is pull the cover out around this bezel and fit it over. Once you have that piece popped off, this is where you're gonna kind of pull back here. And here there's Velcro. Kind of just work your way up the back. Pop the front there. And then what I do is I just pull this up a little bit. You can even pull the back up a little bit here just to prop it. So that gives you plenty of space to work through. This is where that switch is. And you can see here there's even tabs. So these tabs are gonna slide under the outside of the bucket seat here, but we're not gonna go ahead um, and do that right away. This is that strap that I said kind of feeds down behind the seat belt there. So kind of just go ahead and undo him and get him out of the way. And then essentially you just go ahead and slide this cover on like so. And it takes some, just some finagling, some effort to, you know, work it through and get it to where it needs to go, but it kind of falls into place real easily. And we're just gonna work through getting that pulled on here. Just go ahead and lay it on through. And there, you guys can already see how nice and flat, like almost a perfect fit just right there. And we're not even, we're not even settled on and secured in there in place entirely. Here's where we're at. You can see, just kind of pulled that around the clip there. These creases right here, they'll work themselves out, but we're not 100% tight. If you see, Again, you just kind of tuck this down in there. And then this strap right here, we're gonna feed down in between here. So it's gonna come down behind, behind the seatbelt bolt here. So it's gonna come down, feed in down behind this bolt. And then there's a bar, I'll slide the seat forward and show you there's a bar that, that we're gonna fix some Velcro to. And that's where that's gonna pull all this tight, make sure it stays all taut. That strap is gonna come down come out behind here, down through here, and then you're gonna put some Velcro right on here. We'll zip tie the Velcro down so it doesn't come off, and then that strap's gonna pull taut, and then you're just gonna wrap it and secure it down to there. This is super straightforward. I'm trying to film what I can with just one guy. That's kind of tough, but hopefully you guys are following along and seeing how straightforward this is. The strap came down, and you pull it down through here, and then it's gonna affix right into there. So you can see what that's doing is that's pulling this. And obviously when you tighten all this down, it'll self, you know, it'll cure itself out and the wrinkles will stay pretty good. But that's kind of what it's doing. It's pulling this piece taut and gives you a place to mount. So once you have that mounted in there, these are these tabs under here that you guys saw right here. They're gonna come up under this and clip kind of up in there like that. And that's what pulls all this tight and keeps it nice and snug. Here you can see I have the Velcro and zip ties, if the camera wants to focus, attached to the bar right there. So that's where this Velcro right here is going to attach and wrap around there. And we'll cut these pieces off. We'll cut the zip ties down. The zip ties are just to hold that Velcro in case the adhesive wants to lift. That's really all it is. There you guys have it. You can see the zip ties are cut down. The strap is basically wrapped right around. You can cut off any excess if you want. Mine's fine, so I just, Go ahead and leave it there just in case I have to take them off and I either want to sell them or I just need to reapply them somewhere. Um, but there, that's how it's basically fitting. You guys are getting the idea. And all this will work itself out um, as you use it. It's, it is leather, so we'll get some product on here, massage it in here. But you can see all this is nice and smooth. The outside's nice and smooth. We follow the contour. So once I get the seat pushed down, then we'll go ahead and install this cover piece. Ed makes two options. You can get it with stitching or without. Obviously factory here has no stitching, but 
I opted to go for the stitching to kind of carry that through from the bolster up to here. People get these confused. They go on, I mean, you could technically just take this and move it and put it over on the other side, but it won't fit right. So when you're looking at it, do you see how the right side has obviously like a slant forward in the cut and the shape of it? That needs to be forward towards the front of the car and then the Velcro piece needs to be on the outside towards the door. That's how you know what piece you can see on this side, there's no Velcro on the outside. So if you put this piece on the driver's side, it'll still technically fit. It just won't fit correctly uh, as it should. So you're gonna basically, this is straightforward. You're gonna plop this on here. You're gonna wrap this Velcro piece is gonna come up around into here. And then the top Velcro piece is just gonna, you know, affix itself to that, line it up. You wanna make sure you get this area covered and get this area covered. Um, Cause right here, this, this piece of the bolster is what really gets worn down. So we'll get this guy put on and that should wrap it up uh, once we snap that guy back in. Kinda tuck him right there. Get this guy about centered where I want him to be. And then just pull it tight. Once that's on there, nice and tight, I'm gonna go ahead and push the seat clip back in. And there you have it. Add the seat bolster install. Like I said, does not take long at all. There's the install. As you can see, the stitching, nice on there. Lines right on up with the rest of the factory stitching. And you can see that I'm covering this end piece and I'm covering this end piece right here, that's really important, especially because this is the part really that gets worn down right on those edges. And then you can see how smooth this is all in there. Look how factory that all looks. You can bring the camera up, there you go. And these little, just these tiny bit of wrinkles, they'll work themselves out as we get some heat on there and as it stays stretched, but really happy with it. Literally like five minutes on each side. I'll walk around here, show you the driver's side. There you guys have it. Same deal there. You can see fits in nice and neat there. Again, bolstered, covered up. Really looks factory. Porsche should have done something um, like this, but again, you can just see it's really nice. This will protect it and they're replaceable. So if these get worn down, which they will at some point in time, that's the whole point. You just go ahead and buy new ones. All right, well, there you guys have it. I'm hoping you guys were able to follow along this Video really isn't dedicated to masses. This is dedicated to you Porsche guys with your lightweight bucket seats. Fit and finish is perfect. Knowing Ed and getting to know Ed and how he is with his OCD, he's very similar to me. So looks Porsche OEM, which is what I wanted. And again, you have to remember the point of these things is to take the abuse. You know, if you drive your Porsche, you drive your car all the time and you have these seats, I would expect to potentially replace these and maybe two or three years. If you do a lot of track days and you're in and out and you just don't care and you're not kind of cautious of how you get in the vehicle, you'll probably wear them down, but that's the point. They're meant to take the abuse so you don't ruin the factory bolsters on your seats. I don't care how careful you are, how perfect you are, how aware you are of getting in, they're just gonna wear down. That's the nature of how you have to work your way into the car. If you have a passenger too, you don't wanna have to explain to them how to get in the car, this and that. They're just gonna hop in and go. So really it's, just a good safety measure, safety precaution. It took maybe 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes uh, on the passenger side. And once I figured that out and I did the driver's side, the driver's side was literally like four minutes. It, it didn't take long at all. Uh, the whole process to install it, I would say 20 minutes from start to finish. Um, just be careful and note which side that these corner bolsters right here go on. Ed is on Ren's list, Crazy Eddie. Uh, Edgard USA on Instagram, I'll have all his info, everything, his contact info, his website for all this stuff in the description below. The nice thing is he doesn't just make seat bolsters. He makes the headrest covers. He makes, if you have the fire extinguisher and the passenger footwell, he makes the fire extinguisher covers. He makes a bunch of other unique protector um, items that really look like they're coming from Porsche. That's how good they are. So Ed, thank you for dealing with all my questions with this before I bought and everything like that. Make sure you guys give him a follow and go support him if you guys are Porsche guys and you have the lightweight buckets. I'll have the links to all his stuff below. So make sure you go check him out. Make sure you go support him. This is a guy that came up with an idea um, out of a need, out of his own OCD, and basically created a product that exceeds most aftermarket expectations. So kudos to you, Ed. I wanted to document all this. I know this video might not appeal to a lot of you, but if you don't have these cars and you're just wondering, 
what do you do to these cars? This is what I do. I don't really go overboard with them, but something like this for that atom protection, you guys should know by now how I am. Uh, this was a must. So make sure you guys give this video a nice big thumbs up. Make sure you like the video. Click that red subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, at Troy Sowers, and we'll see you on the next one.